Tom Shalou, back with the Tom Shalou show. I want to talk about Playboy. Uh, because oh, you're talking a, to the right guy. Well, there's a new Playmate of the Year, and I kind of want to talk about her, but we have Andrea's on the line, and maybe we'll take Andrea, and then we can we can talk about Playboy. Have you seen? Uh, I, I can let you read the articles. Tom, where did you get that picture? I mean, what? there's some... This this It's kind of a, a PG-rated uh, version of the Playmate of the Year there. I'll, I'll let you guys read that during the break. Let's get Andrea on the All line. Right. Andrea, in Salt Lake City, welcome to the show. Hi, Andrea. Yay, Andrea. Hey. Andrea, that, I didn't mean to be sexist when I mentioned the military, saying some guy, some guy in uniform, uh, Bill uh, noted he brought up how sexist that was. Kind of. Uh, I don't think it's particularly sexist. I, yeah, what I, are your feelings on centerfolds then? <laughs> uh, well, I, my only experience is with uh, the mad fold in by Al Jaffe. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to think that, you know, I, Chivalry, you know, accompanying a lady when she's going somewhere was kind of outdated and old-fashioned. Then I lived in the Middle East for a year and went, wow, this is still very applicable and a wonderful thing. Wow, uh, yeah. I, Did you have to wear a veil? I, no, no. Okay. Um, it's basically like living in Reno, Nevada. Just some people are, <laughs> you know. Except there's um, more tanks in the desert. Middle of New Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, it, so it's just a uh, lot of harassing behavior. And to, to have someone else there, even if it is just another woman safety in numbers, you have less of a target on yourself, and I think that's still applicable. You know, it's interesting, Andrea, States. like, when you're talking about, like, the military culture, military guys, they tend to be the kind of guys who hold doors open for women. They say ma'am when they're addressing them. I've seen, you know, when they have hearings and there's military guys talking to senators, you know, they often call her ma'am, and, you know, that's kind of an issue. Yeah. How do, uh, do military, how do military guys treat military women? Do they give them the kind of ma'am treatment and be kind of chivalrous with them? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely think they're respectful, and it, it also kind of depends on the setting. Um, it If it's, like, when I was on my small boat, I mean, it was much more relaxed, whatever else. It would be kind of weird for someone to get my door for me if I was the coxswain. Yeah. But in, in more formal office settings, uh, it's just, it's more professional, uh, probably, you know, what you experience there at Fox News. Yeah, you're not going to spring a leak in, like, a, an accounting office. But on a small uh, no, hopefully, hopefully not. That would be terrible because <laughs> yeah, we don't like, have the pumping equipment. The water cooler <laughs> fell over. Ma'am, could you get me, get me a mop, please? Now, let's continue this discussion Swap. with the uh, this article from The Guardian. This is by Amelia Hill. I went back a couple of years, but it was on this topic, so I printed it out. She claims, she's Amelia Hill is a uh, psychologist, a doctor, and she says that young women, and, you know, this was like Emily Panic. They're they're kind of caught. They are more free and liber liberated and educated than ever before. Right. And yet she says that they, based on her practice, the women that she talks to, they're more confused, conflicted, and uncertain. She says they're unencumbered by marriage, motherhood, and their attendant responsibilities and limitations. It makes life look free and easy, but digging under the surface of this life is a lot of unhappiness and uh, uneasiness with the modern world. Uh, before we break, Andrea, would you agree with that statement? Yeah, I think that we're definitely more liberated, but you know what? I do my best work under pressure. Like, I I need my parents nagging me about when I'm going to get married and have kids. Like, otherwise, I'm just going to die an old spinster. <laughs> so no pressure. Sometimes you need that, that nagging. Thank you, Andrea.